Okay, this next thing is a $50 nightmare that nature just creates by itself, but why not pay for it instead? I guessed what this was. Hornet's Nest. Great <laughs> decoration piece. All hornets have been exterminated. Now, I've got one of these somewhere already. Um, I'm not a fan of mine. Let me tell you, some of these pictures, the little hornets are still in them. <laughs> yeah, I can I see. I want to purchase this guy as a photographer, not <laughs> hornet nest. <laughs> so I think, I feel like, did he take pictures of it while it was active in this tree and then exterminated every, nated everything and now he's just got it down, ready to go? The dead hornets are still in the one on the fence. CJ's a wild man. I hate I hate every bit of this. I'm good, Mater. I don't need you to pick this up for me. Like I said, I've got somewhere out here. This is this is a this is fifty dollars. So you've just got fifty dollars sitting on your property that you aren't like taking advantage of. Well, there's going to be an investment process. You got to be able to exterminate all the hornets without damaging the nest. And toothless, I don't know what you're talking about. It's only 50 bucks and you can have your own hornet nest if you can get to Virginia to pick it up. It is work went into this. I'll admit that. But I don't I don't want this. What I don't under, I'm not, I feel like, is it just like a vacant home? What are the chances that like another hive of hornets just moves in and then you have, then I would have two active hornet nests on my property and I can't At handle At your that. house, all we have to do is open the garage and play darts and the hornets are just like, mm, this looks like a great place to live. <laughs> Dude, toothless yeah. hornets are like one of my like primal fears. They give me panic attacks. They're and in the fall time I can't like play darts or anything in my garage because they just come fuck it up. Ugh. Okay. The next thing I was gonna send is a little disappointing. It's sold. But I'll just tell you. I think it would have been the perfect sized adult casket for you specifically. This is going to hurt Seven. my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Seven foot tall, five foot wide. No, it's <laughs> a half foot wide. <laughs> but um, I can't, can't sh show that one to y'all. Sorry. It, it's been purchased by someone close to Jacob's height. Maybe. Or just somebody related to them. Let's see what this There are two is. types of oh. people who are buying caskets off a of marketplace. One is the type of people who are preparing for their own death, like, really in detail. And they're like, this is what I'm going to be buried in. I'm going to put it in storage. And then my family will have it when it's time. And the other group of people are people who don't want to be mm. fucked over by the funeral home, but they need a casket right now. Jacob, I am mad that this thing is a good deal. I was just like, there's no way. Some of the things are, I'm expecting this, some good deals. That this wouldn't just be what it costs to purchase in real life. Like, not real life, but like just off the shelf. But I've Googled it. And it's like $50 new. <laughs> Maybe 20 Like, you might could get a deal on it being 20 new. But I'm going to send you an image of, like, the brand new one that I found to prove that I'm not making this shit up. But I don't want to send you the, the website because it does look kind of suspicious. This looks super sus. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Those heart nipples, that's... <laughs> That's overall clasps. 40, what the fuck? 49.90? That's disgusting. There's no way. Oh, it holds the toothbrush too. 
Yeah, the toothpaste comes out of the mouth. You shove your brush into his mouth that he, he's open and waiting for, and it squeezes the end of the toothpaste tube to squeeze out the, the toothpaste. Corey called them suspenders, and I like it better than them <laughs> being being correct. <laughs> I hate that this minion is so ready to gag. And I hate that this is fifty dollars. Banana wow 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 wow. Banana. I had and I fuck fuck this. It's not worth five dollars and it damn sure isn't worth fifty dollars. This next one. I think it's actually really cool. Except I don't I I think it would be cooler if it had a dispense feature. <laughs> like the minion. Yeah. Gun cabinet made from a Coke vending machine. A thousand dollars. This converted Coke vending machine is now perfect to conceal 14 or more rifles. It also has storage for ammo and miscellaneous on the side and down below. You can also install a pistol rack on the door for additional storage. The interior has motion lights to help you see. The front has new LED lights installed as well. The interior is sealed up and carpeted. I like the idea of having a gun cabinet that just looks like something else. I think it's such a good idea. <laughs> I'm going to say but... I've gun cabinets in general, gun safes, because if, if this locks, $1,000 isn't bad. It does. Has lock and key to secure it. I do... <laughs> You put a dollar in, it shoots out a handgun with one, one, a couple of rounds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do think I, it would be cool if instead of mounting your pistol rack, it would uh, just put a, like, dispense a six pack. Like, I feel like you could arrange this to, like, <laughs> pop out a six pack of, of drinks. And then they wouldn't even know. Yeah, I, I, I could see that being a real cool thing. I really like it. Right. Holy shit. Mater is apparently messaging the people with the Coke vending machine. It's pending, so I know that you're not. He just wants to get a rise out of you me. You just want to make Jesse mad. <laughs> Alright, what do we got next? This is, this is crazy expensive. I could buy a house. I could buy a house. I, there, There's no way. Who's buying this kind of stuff? I think there's a very niche market for people who don't understand anything. Nah, this is crazy. No, 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 no. This is expensive. This is also a good deal. Mm -mm. The original Batcopter. But it's only a prop. It doesn't fly. Unless, I don't know what FFA is. FAA. Out of service this doesn't even work aircraft does have log books and was last flown in the early 2000s when it tragically wrecked and i've had to rebuild it but it doesn't fly anymore <laughs> do you get the truck with it yeah it's the helicopter and the hauler batcopter mobile helipad you go to pick this up, this is actually just the Hot Wheels. <laughs> it's just really good camera ship. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> you know how I have, like, really good plans for winning the lottery? This would be one of my side quests. Uh, now it feels like you don't deserve it. <laughs> I would just occasionally drive this through town, just to make people happy. I actually know a friend who might would like these, but... This picture is garbage quality. And it's got one of those price tags on it that you just have no idea how much it is. But it's a fun one to look at. I'm sure that you could negotiate. Chad, stop shopping. Stop shopping. We used to have something like this in like my great aunt's house. Okay, I, I got a little bit panicked about the price, but now I understand that it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, and they don't have a price. Are they just, as far as I can tell, they're not even selling this. They don't hand carve from Hawaii. They're just like showing a picture of something that they have. It's bragging. 
You're like, look at what I have. You're like The coconut family, but it looks like maybe dad's holding both the babies. What's mom doing? She, oh, she's playing an instrument. It's important. She's probably putting the babies, babies to sleep, maybe. How can you tell which one is mom and dad? Are you just going by like dad is taller? I think they both coconut look like hair. Women. Coconut hair is longer, <laughs> the shorter one. I don't. I don't know. I, th it looks I think more they're feminine both, to me. I think they're both women. I don't know. Why don't you put Why don't you put a poll in the chat and find out if uh, people think that right is the woman or left is the woman? <laughs> I think left is the woman. I think they're lesbians. I think the left is the woman. <laughs> I've actually come across something like those specifically um, in a thrift store. And they were not $123,456. While we're waiting on that poll, I've pulled up the scariest thing that was on the related items. Unfortunately, Jacob, this will not be your next Halloween costume. But... It's good. It basically looks like they just skinned the animal straight and turned it into something magical. This is $120 to rent it? Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's this dude look like a little old man Hitler mustache. You pay $120 <laughs> to borrow this costume and give somebody nightmares for the rest of their life. Coco Melon mask. Oh my. Ooh. <laughs> All right, the poll results are in. Left woman, you're the only person who voted. I didn't vote at all, actually. Okay, there's only one vote. That feels really underwhelming. Furry, husky, wolf costume that's been sold. Excellent condition, yeah. husky dog or wolf furry costume. Includes there's head, one body, picture. feet, gloves gently used. Fits from five to six foot. So it would not work for you. But there's like one of the pictures that has something blue and ribbed looking. And I need to know what that is. Please tell me right now. All right. I will get there. This is cute. I'm going to take a quick risk because <laughs> this looks quality. And okay. Like this looks like the actual deal. I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, the, the furry woo costumes are typically pushing six, five to six hundred dollars on Amazon. Yeah, I think here's that a this very one... similar wolf husky for 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 five hundred bucks. I think I think for what this is in this realm, I don't think this is a bad deal. I think this is going to fall into the good deal category. Mm hmm. Man, we should have I had don't like a little. What that is. Oh, this is inside the head. Okay. But I think it's, the, no, maybe not the next picture. I'll tell you when you get there. Those are obviously just cozy little woofy feet. You're talking about this? Yes, what is that? <laughs> it's like like a croc or like that type of shoe material. Okay, so it's not for a penis. <laughs> no, this is inside the, the foot still. Okay. <laughs> I think the lining in this is the thing that scares me. It makes me know that I sweat too much to be a furry. This is the same as one of those like uh, sauna suits for me. But no, I think so too. What, you, what you're saying is, if you bought it, you'd be skinty. <laughs> yeah, I, if I became a fur like a, a an actual furry, I, I'd be so fit by the end of the year. You think Jesse would let me wear it to work? Yes. Do you think that she would let me give you head scratches at work? <laughs> I think she would look at you weird at first, but then I'd kick my legs. And and it would all be okay, and everybody would be on board. This is the cutest little wedding director I've ever seen. <laughs> What's happening? You just wait. Whoops. Four hundred dollars and this little guy will just make sure that you eat your special day. I think, it's perfect. I think Toothless is worried that my stream has brainwashed Chrissy into becoming a furry. <laughs> and I'm not, I can't, I need, to, there's a full disclaimer here. Uh, that's not on me. Creeper. It's so appropriate for your name. Anything is for a penis if you try hard enough. 
wedding packages, servants, $400 for two hours to keep the children entertained during the reception. So they just like come to your your wedding and hand out turtles? If it's that just turtle turtles, looks, I'm... This turtle looks like he's so fucking fed up of being petted at wedding. There is not enough information here to tell if this is a good deal or not. The way that it's starting off with just the picture and wedding packages, it comes across like this little guy is just gonna, like, be your wedding um, planner. We had a little, a little turtle notebook. <laughs> Took that little turtle note, which is so. Uh, uh. <laughs> this notebook would be full of. <laughs> I love him. You know whose wedding this this is would be good for? The zombie kid. The zombie kid? Yeah. You know the zombie kid. I don't I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what that means. Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend the zombie Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. Mm. All right, you're great zombie. And, Good times here at the this, Waterfront Village. This next Open one the could next either be so incredibly old, antique, more than antique, maybe ancient. Could also be like, you know, fairly new. I don't know. Allison, if I switch back over to my Facebook and what you just sent me that I got on my phone is just open on the Facebook on the computer. I'm thinking about banning you from chat. <laughs> okay. Everybody hold your breath. I'm clicking on this next link. We need you to... Um, well, there's an ad okay. playing right now. I can't even oh. find the Frosty Newscast update from Defective Max's chat room. The chat's been a wild mix of tech fails, cheeky banter, and missed votes. Defective Mater's phone has a mind of its own, while Banafi Pie debates the cuteness of something? Portal. Meanwhile, a wild Venolite appears in Pokemon Community Game, and everyone's forgetting to vote. Don't forget to check out Max's YouTube and Discord for more shenanigans. <laughs> First off, please look at the price of this. Um, this is $1,016. Stick of wood I had inside my pocket since high school. Found this wood stick size of a pinky finger in pockets. I remember that I had put it in my pocket the last day of high school. Haven't worn that pants since then. Great condition. The age of the stick is yet to be determined. <laughs> So a lot of the value of this it seems like it would depend on how old the poster is. Also, it seems like he might would be the only one willing. All right, here's the deal. This person has only been on Facebook for a year. So they could have just graduated. It, it might be a year-old stick, and that's worthless. Also, what is the setting on? Did they just, like, piss on a car seat and then put the stick on the pile of piss? Why does this look like a pissed-on cushion? Aesthetic. It makes the stick look good because it makes me not want what the stick is setting on. Jacob, I don't understand why this guy is just selling your nutsack. I don't understand... The fishing line that's connecting them to the corners of his face. What? There's two pictures. They're the exact same thing, and one of them has a filter on it, and the other one doesn't. I don't think it's filter. I think one of them, the flash went off. <laughs> I don't. It looks like a filter. <laughs> he to me. doesn't move a fucking inch. <laughs> the long one is 41 inches. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> the, the other is about 39. This, the crooked I one... I like that he didn't demean the other one and call it the small one. <laughs> the 39 inches. It might not be the small one. They didn't measure the crooked one. The way we fix the is cut... The way we fix the is cut in circles... Use beer batter and fry. You can grill bake any way you like squash. I have frozen a lot and don't need any more. They are delicious. This dude's got freezers of these. 
incredibly dangly squashes. 